Oh, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's do that. That'd be about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Just something like, I'll set the timer for it. <clears throat> you ready? Yep. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang got my dog with me. Time SP to nobody that knows bodies. Okay, yeah, fresh. I'm back off vacation. You know what I'm saying? It's been a couple days. It's been a lot of things going on. How you been? You been good? I've been good, man. I'm waiting yeah. on you. Okay, yeah. I see you got a YouTube channel now. Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? What you um tell them what you're talking about on your channel. We just talking about movies. Uh we just dropped the uh, top five Jay-Z albums and mm -hmm. we uh, did uh, the Irishman review. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that definitely I, salute and subscribe. You know what I'm I appreciate I, the look. I definitely think that you should uh continue to do that put out content man this is a free world just talk about whatever you want you know I what i'm saying uh, whatever you want and i think you should i've always told you that if you wanted to um do a youtube channel you definitely should talk about whatever you know what i'm saying i'm yeah. sure your content will continue to grow and do what you're doing you know what i mean i see you got your man with you yeah, yeah. um definitely subscribe to showtime sp's channel we'll make sure we put the link in the description or in the pinned comment mm -hmm. um and we what we might do is while he's gaining his first couple hundred to thousand subscribers uh, what you should do is you should like keep list of everybody who subscribes to your channel mm -hmm. and then we could probably like give away a hoodie or something like that or give away a pay-per-view who knows you know we've done this in the past i've given away plenty mm -hmm. of things and we might give away something else so subscribe to my man showtime sp's channel and we, um more good things to come yeah um takashi 69 have you heard about what's going on with him he's getting a year i'm about to say he's getting what two years two years but he's done um 13 months in prison so he's probably getting out like another couple months on good behavior and probably uh, Ace Amigo actually said this earlier that, uh, you know, it's actually a win for him as far as like his situation, not obviously being labeled a snitch and things like that, but to go from 48 years to less than two. And then you could do out of 11 months, he could do half in jail, half in a halfway house mm. and be home by like May or June. Um, they said people were saying, you know, why did the judge still give him time in jail? Obviously, he snitched on everybody under the sun. Mm -hmm. But um, I think they wanted to, like, send a lesson that, you know, you still want to get some time out of this. Yeah. And um, I don't think the judge wanted that spectacle of him, like, walking out of the courtroom, all the cameras smiling, there, yeah. smiling, mm -hmm. spitting in the camera. Mm -hmm. Stupid, stupid. You know what I'm saying? All that. So the judge said, nah, you think you're going home? I'm not even going to let you get the chance. You know what I'm saying? Sent them right back to jail. Mm -hmm. Um. So, yeah, that, that's just a crazy situation altogether. But uh, in other news, Briz Rothstein, Murder Mook, obviously we haven't seen Briz Rothstein in a while since um, his unfortunate... Well, we did see him come out at the battle at the battle party. Mm -hmm. But um, Murder Mook, you know, he just recently jumped in an interview and said, let's get it done. Him versus Briz. He said, let's get it done. What you think? I think we should actually set that up. That should have been happened. That was what I was campaigning for ever since the fight broke out, ever since that event went down, ever since uh, Briz went missing, and he pulled up with a hammer. Uh, Not a hammer, but a hammer. Listen, they needed to bend set this battle up, okay? Mook, Mook, uh, on um, my expert opinion, the past couple episodes, uh -huh. he's really been speaking. Like, now I understand where he's coming from. Okay. And so the fight itself is already sold. Mm -hmm. The question to him, or the question to Mook is, are we doing a, a performance type battle or are you gonna out bar Briz? Mm -hmm. Needless to say, if you set it up, we already know where Briz is coming. It's gonna mm -hmm. be all it's gonna be heavy performance, couple bars, but heavy performance. Keep going. I, I need I need I need this. I need you giving me the information. I've been on vacation. Yeah. I need this. I need so, I need to fill me in. So what uh what Mook was saying basically is when he uh, the reason why when he was battling Verb, he wanted to know what what am I better than you then as far as bars wise. Okay. That's why he rapped for 25 minutes long. It was mad of a lyrical, physical, metaphysical whiskey business. Whiskey business, all types of that. And you had those type of situations with Mook when he was rapping, you could tell he had bars and where he was trying to emplace it. And we were like, mm, it doesn't sound like the old Mook, but I like the new variation of Mook. And it was way different from him versus Loaded Lux. So yeah. I don't know what Mook we would get versus Briz because we've never seen Mook actually have a grudge with somebody and battle with somebody. So mm. Mook mm. could be the... So I, I mean, I know I'm a Briz fan. I'll be the first one to be like, oh, Briz, Briz going to... I'm just saying be a little bit wary of Mook right now. Just saying. Mm. What you think, though? Well... You you do you do touch on a lot of good points because first of all, um, Mook obviously has Hollow done like that's pretty sold. That's, I heard something about him saying that Hollow is like trash or washed or he's getting washed. Um, so now you look at the fact with Briz Rothstein, I think you brought up a very um, good point as far as 
him never being in a real grudge match. I mean, they've sold fights. Yeah. Him versus Verb was sold. Him yeah. versus Iron Solomon was sold. Right. You know what I'm saying? A lot of his battles were sold, were pushed, but it's never been that K-Shine versus Hitman exactly. grudge. Like, mm -hmm. K-Shine and it was like, K-Shine was doing things that battle rappers don't even do no more. He's like outside the streets, like, mm -hmm. sign the contract, mm -hmm. sign the contract. Mm -hmm. like, all kind of, kind of, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, yeah. um, and, and, or like how Hitman and Arsenal. Oh, that seemed days, like a grudge. But he was like man. laying money on the floor, spelling his name out yeah. and all that. Like, they don't do that no more. Conceded no. in goods, but they were like in the store with the deodorant mm -hmm. and all of that. Cause you know, goods <laughs> had the battle where he was sweating and all. They don't do that no more. They don't. You know what I mean? So, um. The promo alone is from, you know, cause you already know how they're gonna build it. Mm -hmm. There was an event. <laughs> it happened. Yeah. And now. And then I put on the bridge. <laughs> Yo, bridge just popped on him. Yo, he was walking through the battle. Mm -hmm. Yo, he was really walking. You yeah. gotta take all the points. You wanna have to clip for that spinning too? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think so and so was right. I don't know, bridge. <laughs> but I'll approach bridge. You yep. know how it's going. Oh, you know it's gonna be good go, though. Right? Ooh, um, what if Mook do something like that though? Just say it. Oh, that's crazy. I don't know, Briz, but I'll approach Briz. Oh, oh, Get his throat slit. Don't kick. No, you gotta have a punchline no, at the end of it. Oh, man. Oh. They thought he was. He thought I was sweet until I gave him a donut with a hole in. Oh, <laughs> man. Something like that. Y'all get what I'm saying. But the Two fight alone started rolling. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, looked like he was bowling. Like oh my god, that should be crazy. But no, um, and, 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 and the, all honestly. the fight alone. See, like I said, the, the battle is sold. Just. Announce it, okay? Just announce the battle is happening. We already know what the trailer is. Like, it's yeah. <laughs> I think that these guys, for the the betterment of their careers and moving forward and getting past things, because anybody could have a grudge, could have a situation, could have a downtime. I think for both of them to move on, this battle should happen. I mean, I was talking to Rock when I spoke to him. He said he feels like the battle should happen. Yeah. And I feel the same way because yeah, it was a fight. It was a melee, mm. but at the end of the day, nobody died. You know what I'm saying? Nobody died. nobody died. So it's like, you know, we, we, they should battle, big stage, set the tone, mm. get the year. Because honestly, Briz can't really come back until it's against Moop. I mean, he could, but who's he going to battle? It, it's going to be an extreme letdown. And who's he going to battle? Like, I mean, like, right. And I mean, Briz, obviously, he does his music and stuff like that, but the big ticket seller is the battle rap. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just remove yourself and become an anomaly. Like, I'm out. Like, like I'm never going to battle. He has to battle. I mean, they could put Briz versus Jerry West. I'll take it, but, you know, uh, I need to move move battle. Though. It's got to be It got to be moved. I'm just saying, you just, I just wanted to keep the same energy okay. for Jerry West. Okay. But, needless to say, um, with... The battle itself not being announced, like it, we know it's going to happen. It's sure. just all about the matter of when. It would be good to start off 2020, um, and not to mention it has to be whatever event that Smack usually has within the first couple of months. Right. It has to be you know like a big marquee type thing because the only thing we're expecting. You figure when you hear Moop, you're gonna think of two events. Take no him to traffic. <laughs> take him to traffic. Take Moop to traffic. Go for the battle in L.A. Why not? Moving, moving on track. Why not? If you, because um, my thing is like, if nothing you, wrong with the West Coast. It's just take them both out of their comfort zone. It, that that's that's pretty much clear grounds. Up, up, but, up. Briz already smoked a nigga on a traffic car. I get it, but take them both out of their comfort zone. You know, the deep, deep, deep entourages. Like, see, look, mm. when people jump in cars, mm. they can get certain places. We gotta go on a plane. Ain't nobody driving across Montana, no. Kansas, no. Uh, no. Arizona no. to get to Cali. No. So the people, everybody that could potentially, you move them somewhere yeah. and let the battle happen and get it over with. And I think that uh, that that could definitely be a plus. You know, I think both of these guys are very talented. And to see Mook against someone who doesn't have the biggest name, you know what I'm saying? Not the Hollows or the Luxes. Yeah. This would be a fight. I think it really it's, would it, be a fight. It, it's not, one fights. A fight. not one of them fights. Not one of them fights. No pun intended. I got you. I no, I mean, it, 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 it has a narrative. Mm -hmm. And what better way to, you know, to close it out is to have this, these two battle. It makes, it makes nothing but perfect sense, mm -hmm. like, to be honest with you. But, you know, we know how politics go. You know, Moot might end up, you know, taking another bag somewhere else as a warm-up match. Mm. You know what I mean? Briz, 
And and then not to mention, uh, you already know Briz is gonna catch a lot of slack because look at how many people have been wanting to get to Mook. Yeah. And you mean to tell me the first person that gets to Mook is somebody that he threw a punch at? I mean, that's that's how life works. Man. I, hey, it, it it makes sense on one end, but if I were like I said, if a, like prime example, Sean. Mm -hmm. Sean's been gunning for Mook too. You mm -hmm. figured it. Listen, I already, I already clipped the general. I need to, I need to come for the captain. Mm -hmm. Did I get the ranks right? You said who? I said if I already clipped the general, why not go for the captain? No, you got to clip the captain to get to the general. To get but to the general, I mean, I mean, you, I, I you know it. what I'm saying. Yeah, you know the it. ranks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, but, um, but needless to say, you know that's that's somebody Sean been gunning for. That's somebody that's Hollow's been gunning for. Yeah. You mean to tell me Mook's return to the URL, not return to battle rap, because that was last year. Mm -hmm. This is Mook's return to URL. One on one setting. One on one setting is Briz. I think it can happen because, uh, like last year, you seen Loaded Lux take more than one battle. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Loaded, oh yeah. This is the first. Like I was like, you did. We haven't seen Loaded Lux battle two people in mm -hmm. one year. You know what I'm saying? It was a two on two in Verb, mm -hmm. but you know what I'm saying? He battled more frequently. You know hey, what I'm saying? Hey, more Lux than we thought we could get. Yeah. And I think we can get more murder Mook than we think we can get too. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? And um. I think regardless of winner or loser, them two having a clean battle, ending the battle, and then that moment at the end of the battle the where they battle. dap, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. or they dap, or they walk their own separate hey. ways, <laughs> you know, that, that would definitely mean a lot. Def imagine that face off. Can we host it? Imagine that. Can we host it? I mean, whatever. Listen, they asking I everybody imagine. else to do it. I want to host I mean, that. Well, you know, <laughs> imagine that. Imagine Mook going to be like, nah, nah, imagine, you was all on his side. Imagine that. <laughs> That face off is gonna alone that face off is gonna be insane. Just to see them two standing across from each other, it's gonna be more attention than Mook and Yo, Bra uh, Yo Brace Rothstein really he has the type of demeanor and from knowing him, I mean I spoke to him probably not too long after the whole situation happened when um I think I don't know if Battle Academy was trying to get the battle between um him and Mook. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, he has the type of temperament that he may not be in front of a camera again until it's maybe yeah. that face off yeah. or until he's battling. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You like don't he's see not him. Doing no interviews. Mm -hmm. He's not doing none of that. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So that would probably be a very intense moment. Picture the camera lights just cut on. You see them two sitting across. Oh my goodness, that would be crazy. Yeah. Man. But um, overall, I definitely think that's a battle that should happen. It should get scheduled. Uh, put the proper precautions in place to obviously make sure that this doesn't turn into something even further than what it's already became. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I think it's a go. I mean, I, I don't see why not. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. They, they done sold the fight already. Yeah. Imagine the pay-per-view numbers on that one. It's going to be crazy. Oh, it's going to be crazy. I think, it, I think it's time. You think it's time? Oh. Oh, it's definitely time. Yeah, yeah. Definitely time.